hello from the knitting office. I'm starting off this vlog here. I'm doing an office makeover and this has been in the making for a long time and it's finally happening and I mean you, maybe you're excited but I'm way more excited because I will finally have or like create the knitting office of my dreams. Okay we're on a budget so my, I, I mean we, we're talking dreams but we're also like financially restricted you know um but the thing so just rewind and let me give you like a background to this office space so we have a two-story house in malma where where we live and so this is on the top floor where we have three other bedrooms so each of our kids have one bedroom each and then we have a big master bedroom we have bathroom those kind of stuff but then we have this room which was like previously it was like my boyfriend's man cave and then we had like a kind of like my knitting slash craft space and his like gaming area but then I don't know I think he moved out like before because he had like a different video game thing okay that's not like that. but I the thing is when I when I needed an office I was like okay this will be like the, the best room for my office you know uh, but the thing was like we already had like a bunch of crap like in here because this was like the leftover room so we had loads of like weird stuff in all the drawers and, and things and then we had like this cabinet in the back where we also had a bunch of random things and then we got a lot of like kids furniture off of market Facebook marketplace in like a, like it was like a, a bunch of different furniture and then we also got this extra wardrobe uh, which we decided to put in here because we had the space for it in here and we kind of like needed more storage uh, but that is just like one of the most uh, ugliest like wardrobes I've ever seen and I just uh, I just desperately want to get rid of it. <laughs> the things I come to realize with like my knitting office is that I don't need a huge desk because like I work on my computer and it's kind of tiny so like it, I could have like a smaller desk because the only thing that my like big desk does is like accumulate shit because I have the space to put shit on it. And then when I'm knitting, I'm like, I want to sit comfortably, you know, and most of the time I sit downstairs, but it would be nice to like have a space in this room where I can sit and knit in like whenever I need it. Um, so I would love to get a sofa in here as well. So that's really exciting, but that like takes up quite a lot of space. So I have to like be smart with the measurements and stuff. And then... I also want to have like, you see I've got a lot of yarn, so I need storage for my yarns. And I also want to be able to like film in here and take nice pictures. So I have a wall uh, to the left here, which is like, you know, besides the window. And this is a good wall for taking pictures. And I also have the mirror just in front of it, so I can like see myself. So. Those are the criteria: smaller desk, good storage space, uh, a comfortable sofa, and I also want it to be like aesthetically pleasing and good looking so I can uh, create content in here and take lots of nice pictures. I think I will give you like a tour like of what it looks like for now. So this is where you come into the office. So this is my, uh, my son's uh, bedroom and then you come into the office right here like this um so for now i have the desk over here and i have the shelves on top i also have this lamp which is really annoying because the desk used to be out there and then the lamp was like centered over the desk but now it's just like you hit your head in that light every time you go into the room so i would love to get like a flat a lamp that sits flat uh, to the roof and also this light like casts these weird shadows all around the room which is very inconvenient if you want to uh, create content and take pictures 
so yeah but this is what it looks like so we got quite a lot of like floor space over here um, so I want to make better use of everything so we got the desk right here with the shelves and then I got the mirror in the corner I got these two drawers over here which I kind of like to have them there because they cover the ugly radiator back here so it's kind of nice to have them here and this is uh, usually the place where I have my my plants so they sit on top of this drawer like this like a like balance game you know uh, and then I have the shelves I made myself for the exhibition over here like that I have a little furniture in this corner that I'm not sure what I want to do with it I also have a really uncomfortable uh, desk chair or office chair that I've had since I think I was like eight years old if you remember this 90s IKEA chair uh, and then over in this area as you can see we got the ugly wardrobe like that and then we have this cabinet thing uh, and I've got all of my yarns on top um, so yeah this is what it looks like and yesterday I actually did go around everything and cleared out all of these drawers here and all of these are like empty because we have a lot of like weird junk in them and also these ones are kind of like emptied out um, we still have some jackets and stuff in this one but I think we can move this to another wardrobe um, so this is like the overview of the room and I'm going to like sit down and talk to you about what my plan for this space is. Okay, so like I said, before I like start with anything, I want to show you some inspo pictures that I've gathered over the past couple of months. We live in an 80s house, so I kind of like to like stay in that like 80s, 90s aesthetic. So I kind of like, you know, neutral tones, but also like some more funky colors. And then like the more square shapes. Of but you know, our sofa downstairs looks like this. And like our living room has like these like more rustic, like dining tables and stuff like that. So like, that's the vibe that I like and what I like to have in my interiors. Kind of like minimalistic Danish vibes. This is the vibe I'm going for. And like this vibe. And I think this is pretty. And I like this. So yeah, that's kind of like the vibe I'm going for. And I've seen, one of the main things is like storage because we do have um, a lot of yarn over here that has to live somewhere and that's like the main bulk of the things I need to store um, but I do like having them like open like this so I can see what what I have so I like these kind of containers that I've got going on um, but yeah I want to get some kind of shelf and I think okay so the reason for the shelves to be there is because I want to have like I said a sofa and I think the most reasonable thing for the sofa is to be around this area underneath these kind of shelves. So right here, so like where the desk is, would be the most sensible placing for a sofa. Because I want this area like closest to the window. So where the mirror sits, there, and also where I have this white wall to be able to take pictures and uh, film in this area where I have like the good lighting because the further in we get like the lighting gets worse and worse 
So, I want the shelves to be there where the wardrobe is. And I saw these shelves in Ikea that are like uh, metal, like silvery shelves. And I just think those look really cool. And I think they will suit the vibe I'm going for. Because I do want to add like some kind of silver accent because I think it looks nice. Uh, and then, since we have the sofa here, and we'll have a shelf there, like the only place left to put a desk would be where the yarn storage is right now. And I've met, done the measurements, so I know that we have like, if the shelf is 90 centimeters, uh, then we'll have about a meter left. On this way so the desk can't be like too big because that will, that will fit the area so we need to find like a smaller ish desk so around a meter wide I, I would like a dark desk like a dark wood or something but also like some kind of neutral color would work but yeah I don't want a stark white desk as the one I have right now I just think it looks kind of like eh, it's kind of boring you know um, so I want to get shelf, Ikea, desk, don't know what kind of desk I want yet. And then I want to get a sofa, like, and I, I think this one, it can only be like maximum one, 160 centimeters wide, I think. So yeah, that would be a challenge. And I think I will have to remove the, the last shelf and then i want to get a rug but also my son has a rug in his room that's like beige and kind of neutral and i don't think he like particularly loves it so maybe i could have the beige rug in here because i want a neutral rug i definitely need a new lighting um and i actually ordered a light fixture fixture yesterday that is like a flat towards the ceiling so yeah I can insert a picture of that right here of the light fixture that I want to get or that I got so we'll see how that looks you know I also want to get a cool uh, like office chair or desk chair to have by the desk I would also love to have a small um, coffee table where I can have my knitting stuff when I sit in the sofa and knit Preferably with some kind of like storage in it so I can like hide away stuff so that it looks more clean when I want to be in here to film and stuff. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's go to IKEA. I'm back from IKEA and it was actually like a successful trip. So I got actually got a few stuff. So I got the shelves and I also got a desk. So that was nice and exciting. There were two desks that I was choosing between, so there were like a brownish black desk that is more like minimal, simple in its design. And then there was a blue, it was a beautiful color, like a blue color, um, which was more like a vintage desk and I really liked both. So you'll have to stick around to see which one I picked. I think my game plan for now would be to like get rid of those things over here i think i need to like i just filmed the spring summer you can see this lamp i mean <laughs> this lamp is just not the, the lamp for this space 
but yeah um, I just filmed a, the video about my spring summer knits uh, so yeah so the office is a little bit messy as you can see there's all of this stuff everywhere so I think I need to like kind of tidy up Okay, so we're back and it's been like, it's currently August 2nd, so I mean it's been two months I guess. Yeah, but it's been a long time and this Monday there's coming a journalist and photographer to do like a, um, like an edit of uh, my work and what I do uh, and film my workspace and like house tour kind of thing. Um, so I kind of want like my office to look really nice in the pictures. So I thought this was like the perfect opportunity for me to like, okay, we got to sort out this office. What we're going to do is we're going to switch out this light. I talked about this in the previous video and put up the new light. I'm going to steal the light from my son's uh, bedroom. I'm going to like remove all the things that I don't want in here. I'm going to take down all of the things that are behind this mirror. There are like shelves behind this mirror. And then I want to put the mirror up on the wall. And that's about it. And like sort everything out. Okay guys, we did it. This is actually like the last installment of this office makeover video. And you know, I'm kind of done. There are some things that I'd like to switch out. But overall, I'm just so happy with where I'm at with this office right now. And... I just love this space and I can't wait to share it with you guys and also like look back on this video because it has taken some time as it usually does but to like re-watch the beginning of this video where the office was totally different and to like see the the complete makeover uh, from the starting point up until now because I've kind of lived with this office for a few weeks months now and yeah, I just love this space. And I was thinking about like, usually like I have this creative space, you know, in my regular house, in our home, my family home. And like with kids and stuff, we have two kids. It's so easy that you like your office space, which is supposed to be like your sanctuary or whatever, becomes like a shithole. And it's just so nice to have like, being able to really figure out what I need for my myself when I'm working because I mean I'm a full-time knitwear designer this is this is literally my workspace my home is my workspace and, and I love that but it's so nice to have like a dedicated room which works for the things that I needed to work for so the knitting the office work at the desk stuff the create content stuff so it's just such a relief to have this space. Yeah. 
that really just wraps up the video and I'm so happy that you stay tuned to all of these months and all of that work and I hope you enjoyed the outcome just as much as I do and that you enjoyed seeing the process of making over this office and I can't wait to share lots of new designs that I create in this new space and share them with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.